What is happening, people? Hey, guys, we back at the lake. It is latter part of July. It is hot. Surface temperature right now is 87 degrees. Many people don't like fishing this time of year just because crappy get a little harder to find and a little harder to catch. There's more boaters on, boats on the water. And uh, anyway, but I'm going to show you that you can come out here and you can catch fish this time of year. Anyway, guys, stay with me and I hope you enjoy the video. So guys, right now, what I'm in doing is uh, this time of year, if you can find some sort of shade, you can find fish. Now shade comes in a variety of, uh, of things, docks, bridges, uh, steep bank lines. And so I'm gonna concentrate today. I'm gonna fish some areas that I normally don't. And right now, I'm gonna show you what I'm running. We're gonna see what we see on these uh, depth finders. So I'm running two nine inch Garmin units. Let me flip it around. So what I like to do, I like to run 2D sonar on one and my side scan on the other. And I'm just basically riding around and I'm looking for fish. And sometimes I can see them on my side scan. Sometimes I can see them on the 2D sonar. So you'll notice you see a lot of stumps out here. And we just riding along some of these steep bank lines looking for fish, whether they're on structure or whether they're just hanging out next to one of these deep uh, bank lines. And these deep bank lines provide a lot of sh uh, shade, uh, especially in the afternoons. And so we're coming along and I'm gonna show you this right here. You see this? This is a school of crappy right there. See them right there? Hanging out. You can see where it, the bluff comes up right there. A uh, boom. That is a school of crappie coming right there. You can see, get a good close up shot. Boom. But anyway, hey, let's turn around. We'll ease up here, get the boat into the wind, and uh, we're going to drop in on these crappie. And hey, we're going to catch some of them. So, guys, let's go catch a fish. All right, all right. Found some crappy staged out on the point. That's a good fish right there, y'all. Uh, 10 and a half inch crappy right there. And uh, that's a rocky color. Now the wind has picked up, the conditions have changed. So I've had to, add, had to add a split shot. And so what I'm doing on these fish, I was just side scanning, coming along, and I saw these fish out on this point. They're in about. 16, 17 feet of water. The point runs out slow and it drops off pretty quick. That's where these fish are hanging out. And I'm just using my 10 foot uh, ACC crappy stick. Remember, it ain't green, it ain't mean. And uh, just casting out to these fish, trying to pitch it out past them and just floating a lure over them. And uh, these are still finicky, the water's clear. And uh, so going with a natural color, that rocky color has a blue tint to it, which is normally good on this lake, why I chose it. Anyway, hey, let's go catch another fish. Piece of crappy right here, boom! Yes, sir, come on up in here and see me. He ate that thing. Got that thing down in his mouth. Boom! Hey, last of July, water 90 degrees. Hey guys, you can get out here and still catch fish like this. Hey, I'm watching Wildlife Adventures. I'll show you how to do it. Yeah, that is nice fish. That's a nice fish right there, y'all. Good fish, good fish. Let him go back. Let's do it again. Hey, let's go catch another fish, y'all.
All right, all right. You see, I found this power light pole right here. Give me some shade. Let me see. Let me get that crappy. All right, that's a good one. About 10 and a half inches. Boom. You know, you look around on your lake, you never underestimate finding shade. This light pole provides shade of uh, that point with that drop off where we was just at provides shade. And uh, the clouds is getting a little thinner, so the fish on the point got a little more lethargic, kind of set down on the bottom, probably because I was there fishing them. So I came down and I said, well, let's check this shade to see if we can catch a fish. And boom, caught a fish. Hey, let's go do that again. Cause it looks okay. like, looks like it's going, hold on a minute. Oh yeah, another good fish right there. Vertical jigging, 22 feet of water right there. On the rocky color. They like that rocky color right there. Boom. Hey, let's go catch another fish. Guys, what I'm attempting to do, these fish are fairly deep. They're 22 to 24 foot deep. And basically I'm just kind of getting the lure down in and around the fish just giving them the opportunity to come up and actually bite. And again, they're kind of finicky. Uh, you know, it, clear water makes it a little tough. You know, maybe if I had minnows, it might make a difference, but you know, I just prefer fishing jigs. And uh, you know, I got a blue color on just because the blue color is just a pretty good color in this. Oh, boy, he hit that good. He probably pulled the lure down. Uh, yeah, pull the lure down. And uh, it's, uh, you know, just giving them an opportunity to come over and bite. You know, this is a kind of a community hole. Everybody knows about it. So it probably gets uh, a lot of pressure here. And, you know, hopefully they'll see a color that I have. And, you know, I'm using my 10 foot ACC crappy stick down in the fish i'm using a little twitch method just twitching the end of the lure just so slightly and uh, hoping to get a fish react to react to the lure sometimes they react sometimes you'll catch two or three fish you don't catch nothing after that change your lure color uh, or change your body style that's uh, some of the things that you can do Sometimes you can back off from the fish, you know, 25, 30 feet, cast out past them and drag the lure through them. That works a lot of times too. Matter of fact, that's what I'm getting ready to try. We'll just pitch the lure out past the fish. And, uh, out the sink down there in the strike zone. See if we, let's see if this works, y'all. Just back out. You know, these fish are sitting in this shade and basically they're using it to get out of the sun, first of all, for protection, second of all. And third, it's a great ambush point when uh, bait fish come swimming by. And that's basically what we're mimicking here is, uh, you know, I'm just swimming it by. now. I don't have to use a 10 foot rod to do this. I could use a six or seven, but since I had this rod in my hand and it is so versatile and I am so used to casting and pitching out with this rod, it just comes second nature for me to use it, uh, you know, for casting short distances or pitching, if you will, short distances. Ah, oh, he thumped it good. He hit it hard enough, I know he knocked the lure down. Yeah. See, a lot of times if they hit it hard enough, they'll knock the, they'll knock the lure down sideways. And if they, knock, if they hit that lure hard enough, knock it down, it's not gonna, they're not gonna eat it because it doesn't look natural. It's gonna look, it's gonna be all 
sideways on there and it's not gonna uh, come through the water column very well. Boom, just like that right there, y'all. Easy peasy. Another decent sized fish, feels like, oh yeah. Maybe we can get that old rascal up here in the boat. Yeah, good fish. Now see, just by changing my method, same color lure, just dragging, just dragging right through the strike zone, we produced another fish. Let's try that one more time, I like that. We getting ready to end this video. Hey, it's been a slow day today. I ain't gonna lie to you. Crappy with a little lethargic. Crystal clear water, summertime, they can be hard to catch. We found more fish in that 22 to 26 foot range that we caught, the one shallower. We kind of got here late during the day, so I think a lot of the fish had went down. We caught them. The rocky color with that blue back was probably the best color that we had on all day. We had to add a split shot to get us down in that deeper water. Anyway, guys, uh, you can still catch fish in July. Hey, you just gotta beat the heat. Come out. Today, I picked a, I picked a cloudy day today, so it wouldn't be so hot on me. Anyway, you remember, God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. Don't forget to hit the like button, click the notification bell, please subscribe to the channel. Hey, it's free. And you remember, it's a wild life, and I'll see you on the water.